Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this uh, little screencast in which we are um, going to talk about triangular arbitrage. Uh, I have already uh, some data here for you. You can see a few quotes. Yen's 118 to a dollar, 1 dollar and 81 cents to a pound, and 204 yens to a pound. Now, um, in order for us to conduct the triangular arbitrage, the first requirement is to see if the arbitrage is going to be feasible or not. And for that, the first thing that we need to do is to find a cross rate. And you know that cross rate, once uh, we have two quotes where two currencies uh, are quoted in terms of uh, a third common currency, we can find out a cross rate. So look at the first two quotes here, 118 yens to a dollar and 1.81 dollars to a pound. In both of these quotations, this one and this one, dollar is the common currency. So we can find out a cross rate. Let us quickly find out the cross rate. Um, you will recall from a previous screencast that when the order of the currencies in the two quotes that we are using for calculation of the cross rate is different. For example, look at this quote dollar occurs in the denominator currency and in this one dollar occurs in the numerator currency then our rule is simple for calculating the cross rate we simply multiply the first number here 118 by the second number in the second quote this one here 1.81 and and we are ready with our cross rate here which is yen's 213.58 because you know that in calculation of the cross rate, the common currency is supposed to cancel out. In these two quotes, dollars is the common currency. So therefore, you are left with a quote between yens and pounds. So we have here 213.58 yens to a pound. Now, if you compare this quote here, which you have calculated, with the quote between yen and pound already given, you find that their values are different. This is 204 and this is 213.58. Therefore, we conclude that arbitrage is going to be feasible. So let us go to the arbitrage process now. Arbitrage process in which now you have a choice. You could start from uh, dollars or you could start from yens or you could start from pounds. The thing to remember is that your starting currency must also be your ending currency so that you can compare the beginning amount with the ending amount to find out if there has been a profit or not. So since in this um, question we have not been given a, a starting currency, let's assume it's dollars and we have also not been given the starting amount. So let's start with a hundred dollars. Now. Um, the choice is yours. You can start from dollars and convert those dollars to yens and then you can convert those yens to pounds and then pounds to dollars again. Or you could start from dollars and f rather than converting them to yens first, you can convert them to pounds, then you can convert your pounds to yens and then yens back to dollars again. So let us pick up one of those routes arbitrarily. Let's say start from dollars, convert your dollars to yens and convert your yens to pounds and from pounds you move back to dollars again. So let us do that step by step. Step one, start with hundred dollars. So we say convert hundred dollars to what we need to do. We are moving from dollars to yens. So let's say convert your hundred dollars to yens. You already know how to convert an amount from one currency to another. So when you do that, you are going to find that um, hundred dollars are going to give you eleven thousand eight hundred yens. Now with these eleven thousand eight hundred yens that you have, you convert your eleven thousand eight hundred yens to what is next? Yens to yens to pounds. So we say yens to pounds. When you do that, you will are going to get pounds 57.8431 and now you have some pounds with you which you can convert back to dollars so convert pounds 
57.84312 dollars how many dollars you are going to get um, at the given exchange rate let's do the conversion and when you do that you are going to get dollars 104.6960 so arbitrage profit then arbitrage profit is simply the difference between the ending amount which is this and the starting amount which is this remember we started from dollars and we are ending with dollars again here so your profit is 104.6960 minus 100 is equal to four dollars and six nine six zero cents or roughly four dollars and seventy cents so that is in short the process that you need to complete to find out the arbitrage profit when there are three quotes involved quote number one quote number two and quote number three from the first two quotes when you find out that one currency is the common currency you can always find a cross rate between the remaining two currencies yens and pound here pounds here and once the calculated cross rate this one is different from the given rate between yens and pounds you know that there might be some profit involved in conducting an arbitrage so you conduct an arbitrage process move from dollars in this one to yens to pounds and then back to dollars and if your ending amount is more than your beginning amount you have made a profit otherwise there is a loss i hope this little screencast would have been helpful for you in uh, understanding the triangular arbitrage profit. Thank you very much.